to our latest Facebook Live show. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, and as always, I'm joined by my beautiful mother. Uh, hello. Hi. hi. <laughs> uh, now, now, my mum needs no introduction by now. She's the full-on star of our show, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> so we're going to be making some really classic dishes today, and I'm really excited. So these are... Uh, you know, some really classic Thai soups that I, I grew up eating. They're some of my absolute favourites. Um, Tom Yum Gung, which is a, a, an amazing sort of spicy yep. Thai soup. Yes. Is that, one of, what's, is that your favourite? Yes. It's probably mum's favourite. And, and, then, and then the other one we're making is Tom Ka Gai. Tom Ka Gai. Which is, um, you know, a lot of you know what Tom Ka Gai is because we were chatting about it earlier on my Facebook page. Uh, but it's like a, a tangy coconut soup. And, yes. and it's super comforting and really yes. lovely so huge show for you guys today um, please we're live so let us know your comments let us know where you're watching from uh, we had people watching from Spain last week from Minnesota in the US from Perth in Australia we love to know where you're from and um, yeah make sure yes. you ask your questions as well we'll yes. answer them during the show or after the yes. show all right so uh, first thing we're going to do, Yes. What do we need to do first? What we have to do is we set boil the water. Okay, so yeah. we start off with some water. Water. And I love how your version of this is so easy, Mum. There's no stock involved. There's no, no you know, you just make everything from scratch. Okay, yeah. so what do you need for this? So now for is uh, we powder chili. Okay. Three chili. Three. And these are bird's eye chilies, yes. so they're pretty spicy, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, exactly. Yep. If you wanted to make it less spicy, could you just use the big mild chili? Yeah, can you make mild chili? Okay. Yeah. Well, we like a spicy thumbnail, okay. don't we? Yeah. yeah. So okay, we so just you're going to put in here and bruise them. Yeah, bruise it. And then what if you don't, what if you don't have a mortar and pestle? Uh, you don't have mortar and pestle, you can do the plastic bag. Okay, the handy plastic bag. Yeah, what you do is... <laughs> So you would put some here. We'll use these chilies. So you'd put the chilies in the in the bag. Yes. Like this. Like this. Because yeah. we need some, we need some more chilies anyway for the yes. next soup. So, so what you do, you need uh, like a uh, rolling pin. If you've got one in, in yeah. your kitchen, you just uh, close the top, right? And you just put on a board or, or on a cutting board or the, on a kitchen bin. You just like this. Just screw it like this. Yes. And That's actually, all you do. Actually, you know the good. Yep. The good thing about doing it like this is that you're not going to get any chili splatter no, in your eye. Either. No, no, very <laughs> good. Safe, good. Yep. It's very That's safe. So you can Safety do that. first, Mum. Safety yes, first. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we do. We'll, so you just want to rough pound. Now, the reason we're pounding them instead of just chopping them is that um, by doing it this way, you're really releasing a lot of the flavour and the oils and the aromas in the chili. Yep. So it's actually more effective. Um, I guess way to get all that flavor out of the chili rather than just chopping it. So, yep. so we'll leave this for later, won't we? So we, we yep. need that later on. So yep. put this over here. Yes. Now we. Now, what else do we do? Now for this we do soup? is uh, lemongrass. Okay, lemongrass. One lemongrass. So this is your lemongrass, mum. And so, can you explain to everyone which part of the lemongrass we uh, need to use? You the lemongrass is like like this, right? Yeah. So what you do, you use for the bottom part, mm -hmm. no, not not the top part, okay. right? Yeah. I show you how to how to do it. Okay. okay? Trim a little bit off. So you okay. just trim that little end off there. Yes, a okay. little bit off. So you just so you just took some of this like that. You just took some of the outside yep. leaf away because it's a bit tough, wasn't yep. it? Yes. So uh, we 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 only use this bottom part, okay? Okay. Just slice like that, yep. okay? I'm like that. I'm going to check if we've got any questions while you're doing that. And you put on the. Uh, that goes into the water. Okay. And now is uh, cilantro. Just like that, just one piece like that, okay? Okay, so this, so you got your gallon girl. Yep. Now, well, first of all, before you chop that up, Mum, let's have a look at the gallon girl. Yep. So, so this is, oh, I'll turn that down a little bit. So, yes. gallon girl is different to ginger, isn't it? A little bit different, yeah. uh, and, and flavour different. It looks a little bit similar to ginger, similar, but similar. it's very pale, yes, and similar. it's got a little bit of a pink um, yep. tinge to it sometimes. But you can see this. This is younger, yeah. And the older, another another color again. Oh, little okay. bit brown yeah. and darker. So you're looking for this pale skin, yes. um, gallon girl, and it yep. smells almost smells like um, like a lemony pine yes. forest yes. or something. It's got a very herbaceous, aromatic yes. sort of um, see, smell see, to it. For for Thai people, for mm -hmm. young one, they can chew them, they can eat them as well. Okay, it, it, that's why we're using the young. 
Galangal. Oh, so it's a, when it's a young galangal, you can chew on it because you it's can soft. chew it as soft. Oh, okay. it, it, it's it's kind of they like they like that. Okay, they I'm like gonna see to if eat. we've got any comments here from anyone. No. Questions? Uh, let's see. We've got no. um, Amberlyn like? Nichols saying she loves our kits and videos, and she says you're adorable. <laughs> Thank you. Now, Thank you. <laughs> we, we slice very thin. Okay, so we slice that very thin. Like that. Like, like that. Okay. Just leave it careful, but you'll be okay. Just like that. Like okay. That. Like that. Right. Now, and you should put in a pot. that goes in the water as Go well. in the water, like that. So what happens um, What happens if, if people can't get the gallon gal, Mum? Oh, you can use ginger. Okay, you can it's use ginger. Flavor, it, ginger. It has a different flavour though. Different flavour, but that you can use that. Yeah, okay. Or you can go without. Yeah, I, I prefer to go without. Yeah, you can actually, go without. Because right? I find the ginger leaves a flavour that's not yeah, quite. Yeah, you can go without. Right. And okay. can I leave lime? So next is the kaffir lime. Like so, a kaffir lime. So, guys, like this that. is how the kaffir lime will come. Um, and then to de stem it, you just want to fold it in half. And then, so fold that in half. And then just pull. Pull that yep. stem out, yep. so then you're left with the leaves. Yep. And again, these are ingredients that you can find um, in your Asian grocer or your Thai grocer, uh, and they freeze really well, don't yes, they? Yes, you can freeze so, very well. Um, if you're if you're in a Chinatown or you're at your Asian grocer, grab a whole bunch of these things: the galangal, yep. the uh, kaffir lime leaves, and you can put them in the freezer. Yeah, your freezer. Yeah, yep. and the lemongrass no. too, actually. Yeah, lemongrass too. Yeah, and yep. yeah. So that goes in there. So that's already smelling amazing. I love that, Mum. So this is just your water, and you're basically now, just perfuming the, mushroom, the water. Now they call angel mushroom. Okay, so in Thai, what are they called? Het nang fa. Het nang fa. Yes. And that means angel mushroom. Angel mushroom, That's yes. so cute. I love that. So in um, Australia or the US, we would call these oyster mushrooms. Yes. Yeah. So, oh, I don't know. Do, do these have a different name in your country? Um let us know. Does anyone know the scientific name? Anyone super scientific and nerdy that might know the name of these? But yeah. oyster mushrooms or angel mushrooms? Yeah. Okay. What you do, you have to take it. You have to uh, split it up like this. Uh -huh. that. But it comes with a bun, right? Yeah. So we don't want so that. So just split, so that just up split it up like that, right? Okay. So if you're just joining us, we're making yum yum gung. So we're almost there. We're just getting our mushrooms yep. done. Yep. So mushrooms, and then you're going to And you got some Thai mushroom also. Okay, so these are the Thai mushrooms, these ones. So what are these called in um, Thai? Uh, uh, head fang. Head fang, so... Uh, a straw mushroom in English. Straw mushrooms in English. Yes. So these ones are a little bit more difficult to find. You might find them in an Asian grocery. so they just sort of look like little larger sort of golf size pebbles, I guess, I'm yep. not sure. Um, but if you can't get these just regular oyster mushrooms, yep. or even the button mushrooms are fine, right, Yes, Mom? fine, yeah. Yeah, so yep. whatever regular mushrooms you can get a hold of, that's all good. Okay, so you want a few of those. Yep, and now yep. we, uh, prawn, ready to go in. Okay, so prawns go in. Yep. And I can just see that water smells beautiful yes. already. So this is making and, its own and stock. And this isn't thing, it? one thing that you can put all together at once. Okay. Like that. Okay. So mushrooms. And chili tomato. Cherry tomato. Okay. So someone's asking, can we use dried mushrooms for this yes, one? Yes, can. Okay. You have to soak the water first. Oh, for so dried like mushroom. dried shiitake. Yeah, dried. You um, can use, but you have to soak in the water. Okay, great. Let's see if there's any other questions. Let's see. Oh, hi, Peter. Peter's, Peter's wife, Darren, has the same knives as us. Huh? Okay, right. That's good to know. Thanks, Peter. One yeah. of our regular uh, watches, which is lovely. Um, let's see. Any other questions? This is Lisa McNabb's favourite dish. Awesome. Our favourite too. Okay, so we've got the mushrooms, we've got the prawns, we've got the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes in there. Yes. Now, what do we need to do? Now, when you see the prawn is cooked, mm -hmm. you can see they turn to the pink. That's, okay. that's you know, that, that's it. Right. The prawn is cooked. And then, so this is the all important part, the final part of this yep. soup, isn't it? Yep. So, the trick to a really amazing tom yum soup is that the final seasoning and flavor happens at the end with the heat off. 
Yep. So if you start adding lime juice and all this stuff at the beginning, the lime juice sort of loses its vibrancy. So you don't actually get a really great flavor out of it. So you want to take the soup off the heat. And yep. then now we add the seasoning, don't Easy, we? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. you go ahead. We've got so we've got the lime juice that we need. So essentially, Mum, what do we need? Lime juice, fish sauce, fish sauce, and a little bit of sugar and a little bit of flavour. And that's how we finish off the soup. So yep. do you want to start with the fish sauce? Yep. Fill that up. Fish sauce. Yep. Uh, two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Let me grab some spoons for you. So um, we have, we've got the recipe for these on my website, marionskitchen.com forward slash recipes. And as always with a lot of mum recipes, um, things are often done, you know, uh, just by taste. Uh, don't worry, I, I what eyeballed mum today making it and the, um, the quantities there are all correct. I had to catch her with the tablespoons as she went. So uh, if you would like the recipe for this, uh, you can head there now or, or after the show. So you've got fish sauce, now what? Now is it lime. Lime, okay. And so uh, one, one tablespoon of uh, sugar. I think it was a couple of teaspoons, wasn't it? A couple of teaspoons. Yeah. Okay. So lime juice goes in. And so the lime juice, it's almost cha changing colour, isn't it, that yes. soup? It's just got yes. that slightly cloudy yes. sort of colour. When and the lime go in, you see the colour change? Some sugar as well. Yes. Okay, yeah, so let's have a look. And now, as always, you can, I mean, you can add more lime, more fish sauce, whatever yes. you like to your own taste. If well. you, you can make this one also. You can have squid and prawn and fish oh, together. Oh, nice. Yeah, you oh, can I like, do that. I like it when we do yeah. the fish one. Yes. Yeah. But so, uh, some people don't eat fish, so you have to eat the prawn. Oh, nice. You know, don't uh, eat I'm the gonna squid. Have, I'm going to have a try and see. Mmm. Yum, that's so good. It's really tangy and limey and salty. Yep. Just the way I like it, yes. Mum. Beautiful. And, uh, oh, wait, we need to... coriander. The final thing is to add the coriander. Yep. So you just want a good... Just like a rough chop of the coriander. Yes. It's almost like another vegetable the, in there, see, isn't you it? You don't have to you put the last because okay. it, you keep the lemon... Uh, and then I find... Um, yep. You just want to leave that sit for a few minutes before you serve it, just yep. to allow those to the, flavors to, to the flavor, a yeah. little bit longer. Yeah. Okay, so that's tom yum gung done. Now we're up to tom kha gai, the coconut soup, which I'm super excited about. Yep. Um, all right, so for the coconut soup, Mum, we want some coconut milk, don't we? Coconut milk. All yeah. right, so you, if you could start putting that one into the pot, and I will see if we've got any questions while we're here. Let's see. We've got um, Megan asking for a traditional recipe and video for Songtam. Megan, you're in luck because we've already done one for you guys. So if you want to head to my YouTube channel, you guys can find these live videos on my YouTube channel and watch them whenever you want. Um, you can also search my website uh, for the recipes as well. Uh, so Megan, head to YouTube, uh, Marion's Kitchen YouTube page for that one. Let's see, we've got Jerry watching from the Philippines. Hi, Jerry. Nice um, Felicity's asking, how long can we keep the soup in the fridge? Oh, uh, not long, because it's coconut. Oh, no, no, the, what about this one? Oh, not this one for a couple of um, couple days. Couple days? days, days yeah. Days, yeah. yeah. It's a great soup. Like, I would, you could make a big pot of it at the beginning of the week and sort yeah, of have see. it for dinner, you know, two, three nights. Yep. Um, which would be good. Okay, so we've got our coconut milk, and I'll get that heating up. And one cup of water. Oh, and one cup of water yep. as well. So, because you don't want it too thick and creamy, do you? No. There you go. Half, half a cup. Uh, half cup. Oh, I think it was half a cup. Yeah. Yeah. So in there. All right. So what? So we're going to essentially use the same flavorings for this one, aren't we, Mum? Yeah. So you know what would be great if you're going to go to the trouble of buying some of these things, these things like the cafe lime leaves and the galangal, um, you could make this, these two soups in the one week because you'll yep. have all the same, and all the right uh, ingredients. Galanga. Galanga. Okay. Slide. Slide. And lemongrass. And lemongrass. And so we're doing the same thing, aren't we, Mum? We're, yep. um, With the we're sort of infusing that coconut with these lovely flavours. Mm, I just love the smell of lemongrass. It's so, so comforting. 
Yep. So that goes and, in. And uh, come with lime. And lime. a happy lime. Happy lime. Okay. So if you're just joining us, guys, we have made a Tom Yum prawn soup. And we are now making a coconut chicken soup. Yep. All right. So we've got our yep. lime leaves. Okay. So you're just going to wait for that to come up. Uh, yeah, they need some mushroom. Oh, you need some mushrooms and a chicken as well. Okay. And uh, you need the this one mushroom. Oh, you want this one mushroom? Okay, yeah. so um, that's right. So with this one, so we used the angel or oyster mushroom and the straw mushroom for the tom yum soup. And for this one, we're going to use what do you call these? What are these in Thai again? In oh. Thai, head, head. Uh, so there's head so nang, many names for this one. Head, so there's head nang rom luang. Uh, yeah, and then in Japanese uh, it's, it's, it's uh, orangey. Orangey. And or in mushroom. English we call these king mushrooms. So there you go. There's three names for you. <laughs> um, and again, tell us if they're called something else where you guys are. Um, now, how do you want me to slice these, Mum? You just want? Uh, no, no, so I just cut like. Uh, like you, I show you. Okay, you you do it your way. I don't want to mess up your soup. <laughs> That's it's mum's soup. Oh, so you do yours quite chunky. Yeah. Yeah, I do mine. I do mine quite. Yeah. Fine. Can can shall I? <laughs> <laughs> Who, whose way is the right way? Your way or my way? Your Both way. <laughs> way. Same. Definitely. But I like it that way. Okay, okay, you like it this way. Okay, oh. great. Um, and so while we're waiting for that, and that, that smell is so delicious. I wish you guys could smell it. So I can. It's the coconut milk. And then those beautiful aromatics like the cafe lime leaves and yep. the lemongrass and it's just, oh, it's so lovely. Um, and while we're just waiting for that to come to simmer, uh, I just want to thank you guys. Um, you know, the reason we can make these videos for you yes. is that you all join us and support us here on the Facebook page and also from the support of my Marion's Kitchen Food Company. So if you guys haven't tried them yet, uh, we've got some amazing, all natural, no preservatives, no MSG meal kits. Um, they make cooking my favorite Asian dishes super easy. There's, you know, three or four steps and each of the sauces and pastes is mum approved. Yes. <laughs> everything Best starts out kitchen. in our own kitchen and we test and cook everything so that you guys will have an amazing experience every time. Uh, and if you're in Australia and the US, you can find those um, in Walmart in the US and Coles, Woolworths, IGA, Foodland in Australia. Um, loads of places for you guys to check those out in the Asian aisle. So, we are continuing on with our soup. Now what do we need to add to this, Mum? So if you're just joining us, we added coconut milk, kaffir lime leaves, lemongrass and galangal, and now we're going to add the rest uh, of our ingredients. Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, chicken. See the, the potato boy? Uh-huh. The potato chicken. So you're using chicken thigh. Chicken right? thigh, yes. But yeah. you could use breast if you wanted to. You can use breast, yeah. yes. Could you do But seafood? chicken thigh is more flavour. I, I like the chicken thigh. I do think it has more flavour. Yes. And the thing is that the chicken itself is going to be um, flavouring the soup. So it's going to be making its own sort of stock within yep. the coconut. Yes. Yeah. So, but feel free to use chicken breast if you would rather do that. Yes. You, could you use um, seafood as well? You can use seafood if you don't like, you don't want a chicken. Yeah. Yeah. You can okay. use pork, you can use seafood. You know. I'm going to see if we've got any other questions. Josh Price would like to do a taste test. Well, Josh, you've got another five minutes to get over here from wherever you are. <laughs> and we're in Bangkok, so hurry. Um, Camille made the red curry chicken meatballs tonight. Oh, I'm so glad you enjoyed that one, Camille. I love that one. Um, and I tell you what, being a new mum, I'm so glad that I actually have made a product range that makes cooking all my favourite dishes super fast because I, I'm telling you, I'm really appreciating that at the moment. <laughs> okay, so we're just waiting for the chicken to cook, aren't we? Yeah. Not take long to cook. Yeah. So um, a lot of you actually write in and ask me about um, adding the adding raw meat or raw chicken to a curry or a soup. So in Thailand, this is a very traditional way to cook the meat. The meat goes raw into the soup or the curry, yep. and it's always sliced really thin. And that's why uh, the instructions always say to simmer just for a few minutes um, yep. or until cooked through because mm -hmm. um, you don't want to over boil the meat. And yes. when it's sliced really thin, it should cook really quickly, like yes, three really to four quickly, minutes, right? Yeah. Um, okay, okay, anyone else got any questions? Let me see. 
Um, oh, Lee Kate McDonald has her own kaffir lime tree. Oh, you're so lucky. I love having um, fresh kaffir lime leaves to use. That's amazing. Um, let me see. Uh, can you use the long bunched mushrooms? So the long bunched mushrooms I think you're talking about are the Japanese ones. Um, they're very thin. Um, and yes, you can. You can use any kind of mushroom you like uh, for this. Yep. So that's a good one. Uh, let's see. Anything else? All right, so if we haven't got to your questions, don't worry, we will answer them after the show as well. Okay, so now we need to get to the seasoning uh, part as well, don't uh, we? Three chili. Ah, the chilies, yes. Yep. Where do we put those? Three chili. Ah, oh, in here. Yep. So remember, these are the chilies that we bruised up earlier in the show. Yep. Get those out into there. Yep. And then you want some lime as well. Yep. Oh, enoki, that's right, Ashley, that's what they're called, enoki mushrooms, the yeah. long, skinny ones, exactly. Oh, it's so good having you guys here to help out. Okay, so you want to squeeze the lime juice in, and I will chop up some coriander. Okay, so I know a lot of you also don't like um, coriander, that's fine, you can just leave, leave those out, not essential to this one. Okay, well, you keep on it. Right. Okay, coming up. Yep. Okay. Okay, lime juice, and then, of course, the fish sauce as well. The fish sauce, yep. Okay. And then, and again, we've taken this off the heat. So, guys, remember this is the biggest tip for both of these soups. Add your seasoning, the lime juice and the fish sauce, uh, at the end of the heat so that you keep all those fresh flavours yep. and a little bit of sugar. Oh, and we did have a question about the sugar. Can they use um, can we use palm sugar instead of white oh, sugar? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Palm sugar as well. So yep. we actually often use, Mum actually often uses the white sugar um, just because it's a little bit easier and everyone has access to it. But of course, any time we're using sugar in these recipes, palm sugar is, is a good one to use. Yep. Um, okay, so we're going to add a little bit of our coriander yep. as well. And don't forget, guys, if you are loving these recipes, um, you'll find heaps more of my recipes on Instagram, Marion's Kitchen. Of course, you can watch everything on YouTube, the Marion's Kitchen YouTube page as well. And we, looks like we are ready to eat, which is always my favorite part of the show. Okay. Ah, oh, this soup is so beautiful and comforting. It's more, it's okay. Yeah, it looks gorgeous, huh? Ah. Oh. Yum. And you know, it's so healthy too. You know, there's not much oil or anything, no. there's no oil or anything no. that we've used. No um, and it's just so super fresh. And that's this one here. Okay. Yum. All right. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Now, we are here most Tuesdays. We'll let you know um, earlier on on the day uh, that we're doing our live show. But we love joining you. And thank you for joining us every week. And we will see you next week. Next week, yeah. See and you. I am going to eat some soup. <laughs> see you. <laughs> oh, that's so good. It's delicious. You want to try this one? Mm. Just right. Yes, just right.